Avoid these actions with your money that can actually destroy everything you have labored for. Your source of livelihood, destroy your star, destroy your glory, and destroy your destiny. If you must give out or lend money to anyone, or borrow money or receive money from anyone, do this immediately. If only you can follow me to the end of this video, you will actually discover these actions that must be avoided as quickly as possible that can lead to destruction of everything that you have labored for and what you need to do if you must learn or, gain or borrow money. So welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand, master, and apply this three correctly in your life, there is no limit to your achievement. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, yeah, you're welcome. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. So without wasting time, let's quickly get to the video. So for my new timers, please, if you are looking for any video topic, just write Jenny Action TV slash the keyword in that video. Let's say favor. Jenny Action TV slash favor. You get it. Jenny Action TV slash diabetes. You get the video. So, but per adventure you shake and there is no video like that. So long as it's concerned health, safety and, and spirituality, you can actually drop it as a suggestive video in the comment section. And please, please and please always like this video and also make comments and god will honor you as you do so so without wasting time let's quickly get straight to the video of today number one practice zero waste management in everything so long as you have this mind of zero waste management you don't intentionally and unnecessary waste things believe me you will always get money what do i mean you might buy something that is very new today just because of one simple error you completely condemn that thing and refuse to use it you have activated spirit of wastage that affects your money one way or the other what do i mean do you know that when god filled the children of israelite with manna from heaven he urged them to gather the remnant jesus come to the new testament too when he did the miracle of conversion of five loaves of bread with two fishes after he finished feeding the, his disciples, he still said, gather the remnant. And the, you will discover also that the parable of lost coin, even lost sheep and other lost things that he has uh, been pointed in, in the scripture, especially the recent one, parable of a coin that I used to teach you how to sweep in money into your home. If you have not seen it, you need to get that video about broom, how you can use broom to sweep abundance into your home. You discover that the person that lost that coin continue sweeping searching searching until you find out that money what is it telling you that waste is not part of somebody who actually want to be rich so any form of waste you are doing will reduce your finances reduce your star and reduce your glory you must give out money in mind to receive this entails that there are certain categories of people you must give money and the day you give it. I said it before, I am repeating it now. Never you give money as a gift to anyone on Wednesday. Money given as a gift on Wednesday, don't come back. Don't borrow or lend money on a Wednesday. If not, it will not amount to anything and at the end of the day you can't account for that money and the person that you lend that money to if you are the one lending out may also find it difficult to make anything good out of that money now the categories of people that you must give money are the people that when you give them they will bless you no people that have the tendency or use of using that money to work against you like don't give money to beggars why i'm saying it yes i might have encouraging you one way or the other in the past to give money to beggars in this particular channel but you know that every day god gives me fresh revelations and fresh direction something happened i went out on a particular day i think that should be on a thursday there was a beggar that was desperate that he's hungry that he needed money one man said don't give him money buy him something to eat then who we are there the things that were handiwork we are getting egg that was there i said okay 
let the person that is selling Gary Egg give you uh, some Gary Egg. Let me pay. He said, no, 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 no. That he wants money. Immediately he said it one spirit begins to minister to me that, that there is a saying that the beggar have no choice. That if this one have a choice, that this man have ulterior motive. It then dawned on me that there are certain people that actually collect money from people just to use it to go and do shams invocation and also to use it to collect people's destiny. And some people are being sent by even people that want to do some rituals that so that they will collect money from people and they will use it to collect the people's destiny. They will collect that money they have begged out and give them another money, more than even what they beg. What they're interested in is actually one's destiny. And to be on a safe side, prevention is better than cure. Yes, give us never lack. You may begin to say, what is this woman saying? So we should not give again. No. When you want to give money to beggars, give them food. That is what they need. Because when they are handicapped and they cannot fend for themselves, one of the most essential needs they have is to feed. If you can cook rice every Thursday, maybe you, you have area where you know that beggars are always staying, you can cook rice every Thursday, package it like this, take away, and go and be sharing them. Believe me, do it for nine Thursdays. Your life, the door of finances and the door of being a rich person will open up for you. That is the best thing you will give to beggars. Now, who are those that you're supposed to give money? One, give money to the motherless baby. There is a place that the Bible was even talking that true religion is this. Visit the fatherless in the affliction and the widows. Who are the fatherless? You discover that even these motherless babies, you can't even trace who their father is. So you can actually take money and give them. Give to the widows. And the most important people that you must actually give money is if there are beggars that goes to the same church with you. Beggars in the household of faith. That at least those want to an extent, you can vouch for them that they are not into another shady deals with the money you can actually give such people why we are saying it this is that you are being careful is not because you are afraid but we need to fulfill all righteousness of being that careful let's do our own part and allow god to do his because faith with your work is dead nobody bears the coast of fire on the bosom it will not hurt the person so that is one thing you should know if it is easier and manageable for you, always give out money that you will do through online transfer instead of carrying it and the person is collecting it as cash from you. And I know that we are entering the season of celebration for those that are Christian, doing a kind of Christmas celebration, New Year, and definitely a lot of people are going to travel to, uh, to village for those that are a kind of not living in their states. And the one word or the other, you must bless people with finances. There is no two ways about it. So one of the things you will do is that intentionally buy a bag of salt. You know, I made a video, don't collect salt direct from somebody's hand. I'm not talking of salt that is wrapped in leather. I'm talking of that carrying it bare and putting it in the hands. Now, buy, intentionally buy a bag of salt when you want to give money to some people because where it is inevitable but where it's possible better you buy a bag of rice and share to people it brings a lot of favor to you but if it is inevitable that these people are closed you need to give them certain amount of money buy salt and give that money alongside with salt just tell them that you want to season their life because for every food that is cooked to be complete, there must be salt. So that you are giving out them this to also season their life. Believe me, there is a way it deactivates the activities of witchcraft. So that anybody that actually wants to do any evil with that money will not be able to achieve it. Then, but the best and the most important thing you must do for the money you want to give out, that is why I say, if you must give out money, you must do this at the beginning, is... That particular day or a day before that day that you want to share money to the people, get out the bundle of the money or all the money that you want to give out or that you want to lend out anyhow and then spread it to an extent. You may not spread it very well, just spread it a little bit in your room, especially that particular place that is your personal altar that you normally praise. So when you get that particular money that from it you intend to share it to people, 
stand barefooted on that money. When you stand barefooted on that particular money, get alligator pepe, you know that you have opened for spiritual pepes. If you don't, you have not heard about alligator pepe or don't know how to use it, you are new in this channel, please go through my channel. You get lots of videos I've made about alligator pepe. And then, especially I dedicated a, a video on it to explain all the do's and don'ts of alligator pepe. So you observe it before you do this. You count out seven seeds of alligator pepe. You put it in your mouth. You start showing it as you are standing barefooted on that money and begin to pray. Believe me, alligator pepe does not go on a shameful journey and say, Almighty God, the creator of the universe, that you are the one that said that you give it us power to make wealth. That you are the one who actually enables me to make money. I am so grateful to you that this money I'm about to give it out, out of charity. I am giving it out that I might receive, I might be blessed because to say give, it shall be given unto you. Good measures, press down, shake together, shall men give unto my bosom. That today I'm using this money as a point of contact that you will enlarge my course. That finance, more finances will begin to come into my life. Abundance will be my portion. That this money will not work against me. That I am subduing any power, any energy, any man or woman that will connect to this money to work against me under my feet that they will not have power over me then you pray more as how it is in your heart i'm just giving you a guideline as you are praying you are showing that at get up baby after go outside where it will touch sand that where leg will not cross it within 24 hours spit it four times on the sand declare that whatever you have prayed that from four corners of the universe it will be answered the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to get a bowl like this when you get a bowl with little amount of water so when you get a bowl with little amount of water you now get anointing oil by god's grace watch out the video on how you can actually consecrate your anointing oil by yourself because this is just olive oil it will only become anointing oil if only it has been blessed and consecrated so let's assume that this is consecrated oil all you need to do is use this cover and fetch a little quantity may not even be up to water of this particular can and then drop a little pinch of sea salt or sea salt if you have but if you if it's a kitchen salt any salt you have inside that particular water then get small camphor it will not even be up to this size crush it and also add in that water put your right middle finger and pray that by god's grace that you are praying that anointing breaks the yoke that let every yoke of anything that anybody will do negatively against me concerning this money be broken and whatever evil plan anybody will do with it let it go back to the sender then you now carry this little amount of water and sprinkle it on that particular money or you can actually get something that can spray like this now transfer that mixture inside it and spray it a little bit of it on that money that has scattered then you can now allow it to dry a little bit it's just a little and then you can now share it to the people that you want to share it believe me you will now be saved whatever anybody will try to go and do to that money will just backfire what i'm saying is that a situation happened some years back to my own cousin he, he came back from lagos where he is this uh, kind of doing business to the village and then on going back somebody rushed and it's a trusted baby because this particular woman is actually baptismal mother if you know what anglican church does when they give birth to child, i want to do baptism they will bring another person that is not the mother that will become the baptismal mother this woman is actually the baptismal mother whenever this man come he will buy bread and share to everyone the woman on the day was returning back to his base the woman rushed and begged that please just give me 50 naira so the man ah what are you doing with me and gave her 100 at that time 100 is like 1000 all of a sudden the business of this man crashed he doesn't have a business again but do you know how it was discovered there was a period at that particular time one man of god come from germany and say that god sent him to our community that particular time to come and do liberation in that in the community and before you know it when people gathered for that liberation he brought that man and they stand that woman up and ask her why are you so wicked how can you do this to this young man that was how it was busted open 
that you carry the money he gave you, somebody that is like a son to you, to go and do sham and scatter his business. And that was how that man was liberated. Another money was raised by the family and give him a started afresh. So to avoid something like this, you see people, they will travel to village. By the time they come back, whatever they are doing will scatter. Please take precaution with your money. And believe me, so long as you are in this channel, you continue to enlarge if you will. Always observe the directions I'm giving you by God's grace. So with this, I've actually come to the end of this video. If you find it helpful, why not give me that thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to always get new uploads from me. 